If a boy is born, the parents will donate an embroidered swathing band to the local synagogue. This is then used to bind Torah scrolls. May he grow strong and study the Torah, marry and perform good deeds. Since the times of Abraham, circumcision has been a physical sign of the covenant concluded between God and the people of Israel. You must also agree to keep the covenant with me, both you and your descendants in future generations. You and your descendants must all agree to circumcise every male among you. This is a set of circumcision instruments which was used in the middle of the 19th century. Circumcision is performed on the eighth day after the boy's birth. The father hands his son to the godfather, Sandak, while the mohel performs the surgical operation. The vacant space next to the sandak is reserved for the messenger of the covenant, Prophet Elijah. The text of the Torah must be handwritten without a single error. It is written on a piece of parchment which is then rolled into a scroll. Pointers are used during the reading of the Torah. Rosh Hashanah, the Hebrew name for the two-day high festival which ushers in the Jewish New Year. It falls on the beginning of the month of the autumn equinox, Tishri, September in our solar calendar. These are the days of judgment, when the Lord weighs our acts, judges them and records them in the Book of Life. During this feast, we pray for the unity of the human race, reconciled by the service to one God, the Father of all creation. The ram's horn, the Hebrew shofar, its sound reminds us of the sacrifice of Isaac, turning our attention to the forefather Abraham, whose example shows how profound the Jews' love for God must be. Bar Mitzvah, the name of a boy who's reached the age of 13, the age of religious maturity. An excerpt from the biblical books of prophets, Haftar, is read out from the al Memor. This sash with trappings and a blue band is the prayer shawl called the talis. This is a sign of religious maturity. The two poles onto which the scroll is wound are known as the tree of life. Torah is regarded as a live object. If a fire breaks out, this is the first object to be saved from the synagogue. If damaged, there are precise rules on how to bury it. The days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur are called the days of repentance. Yom Kippur, the day of atonement, is the last of those ten days. This is a day of fasting. On that day, everything in man is directed towards his return to God. Because on Yom Kippur, he seals our fates according to our sincerity and our endeavors in seeking him in our repentance. On this holiday, the Jews commemorate their dead by lighting candles. These are part of the Yiskor ceremony. Today, candles may be replaced by lamps. Rabbi Lerv, founder of the Talmudic school. The rabbi paved the way with his teaching methods for the establishment of the renowned Prague Yeshua Hebrew University.
The Jews have always devoted exceptional care to the education of their children, boys in particular. Talmud Torah is in order to study and promote the knowledge of the divine Torah. Parents are especially obliged to make sure that their offspring attend Talmud Torah lessons as soon as possible. Their participation does not end with the ritual bar mitzvah because the study of the Torah is the first and foremost duty of each and every Jew throughout the whole of his life. Torah is covered by a jacket which is made of silk, velvet or other materials, often with an embroidered dedication. These little jackets are designed in the same way as curtains of the Torah box, Aron HaKadesh. The Feast of Tabernacles is associated with the tradition of Canaan customs of thanksgiving for the harvest of trees and shrubs. But the holiday has its sacred background too. When Solomon built a temple in Jerusalem, he had it consecrated during the Sukkot, and from then until the temple's destruction, Jerusalem was the main pilgrimage town. The symbol of the holiday is the lulav, and the citrus fruit called ethrug. This silver bowl comes from the early 19th century. When you have harvested your fields, celebrate this festival for seven days. And on the first day, take some of the best fruit from your trees. Take palm branches and the branches of leafy trees and begin a religious festival. You shall live in your shelters for seven days so that your descendants may know Blessed be you, O God, who blesses the people of Israel with the commandment of the matrimonial chuppah and the holy matrimonial covenant. The wedding canopy, chuppah, hangs over the heads of the bride and the bridegroom. This silver ring dates to the early 19th century. The cantor reads the matrimonial covenant, the Ketubah. The front of the jacket in which the Torah is covered is adorned with a silver shield. A pointer in the shape of a small hand is hung over it. 